too. And what my what I do in my personal life is nobody business. Dwight Howard has found himself in a pretty sticky situation ever since he was accused of SA by a man named Stephen Harper. Now his ex-girlfriend has also stepped forward to finally speak out against Dwight and how she feels about this news. And you won't believe just what she says and how she claims he treated her too. Dwight's ex Royce Reed hasn't always been able to talk about him in the media. Although the two had been together for an extremely long time and even had a child together in 2007, Royce wasn't allowed to say anything about him publicly. That's because after they split, there was a gag order placed on her. But now that he's found himself in a new legal situation with the essay case, the gag order has been lifted and she's definitely taking that to her advantage. And she's been saying a lot about their relationship and what kind of man she really thinks Dwight is. According to Royce, she says that she always knew he was incredibly curious. I knew he was, um, freaky. Because of that, she thinks that he's been very open to exploiting that side of himself. But at the same time, she said that she doesn't really know all of the encounters that he's had. I didn't know that he liked to be with men. So she thought it was best to leave it at that and just call the whole thing curiosity. He is also completely unwilling to associate with the LGBTQ plus community at all, but he has said that he had a sensual relationship with the man in question. That being said, he claims that it was never an essay situation at any point. This is something that Royce has also called into question and said that she thinks it's a whole slap in the face to the LGBTQ plus community. She said that he claims to be a certain way, but then denies it whenever he gets the chance. Every pronoun was there. And I was, I was beyond like, I was, listen, I was shocked because. With that being said, she just hopes that he doesn't try to lean back on the community when he finds himself in an even worse position. He's already done enough damage, so he shouldn't be relying on a community he put down to save him from something like this. If this wasn't enough, Royce is also finally revealing everything about her relationship with Dwight and just how terrible he was behind closed doors. Royce herself even called him an evil person and claimed that one time he told a young boy that he was gay for not watching explicit material. As we know, Dwight also has had several children with several different baby mamas. Something that has been difficult for Royce to come to terms with as she watched him have four more children with different women after they had their son back in 2007. As it was mentioned earlier, Royce said that Dwight had asked her to sign an NDA, but the reality of the NDA was to make Royce appear like the main partner of Dwight or the matriarch of several polyamorous relationships. She then alleged that he hired people to start smear campaigns against his several baby mamas. Royce has also this year started to become even more vocal about what he's really like as a parent. After Dwight had posted a video to social media of himself motivating and helping his children, Royce decided that she had to speak out about how he's an absent father. In response to the video, Royce claimed that he only pretended to be a parent for the cameras and that spending time with his children was a rare occurrence. She also alleged that Dwight fought for the custody of one of his children only to then turn around and make his parents the child's guardian so he could go play basketball in Taiwan, which is pretty crazy because he essentially left all of his children in America so that he could keep playing basketball on an entirely different continent. In many ways, it appears as though Royce isn't all that surprised by the situation he's in now. Royce has now repeatedly accused him of being a bad and neglectful father and said that there's still a lot we don't know about, which she says is still hidden behind NDAs and closed doors. But in 2020, her son with Dwight Braylon actually spoke out about how he feels about Dwight as a father. At the time, he was only 12 years old and he publicly called out his dad for not taking care of him. Dwight fought back, saying that he was only calling him out due to toxicity. But Braylon isn't the only one of his children to have issues with Dwight. One of his other sons made headlines after Dwight forced him to keep training and playing basketball, even though he was begging and crying to stop. The incident was even caught on video. Royce has also referred to his current situation with the essay case and posted a meme that read, and it all started 
because of your ego and disrespect. At this point, it's pretty clear where she stands on the matter. And when you think about it, Royce is someone who knows Dwight the best since they spent a long time together. So if this is what she's saying, it's definitely information that should be taken into account. But the really strange thing is that, like I said, Royce was previously banned from speaking about Dwight. Royce appeared on Basketball Wives, and when she signed on to do the show, she was also forced to sign a gag order by Dwight, which meant that she couldn't talk about him at all, including on TV. She claims that she willingly signed it because she wasn't aware of what it was, and it originally came out because she went on the Wendy Williams show and confirmed that Dwight was the father of Braylon. However, as I mentioned earlier, now that the lawsuit had been filed, against Dwight, Royce's gag order has been lifted, which is why she's able to talk about the issues that they had. She made a lot of claims in this interview with DJ Vlad, even saying that when they were together, Dwight threatened to end her life and told her that he could get away with it because he was so loved in Orlando. This was when he was playing for Orlando Magic. She claimed that she ultimately got away from him when he put his hands on Braylon. But just like anything, we also have to take what she says with a grain of salt since Royce had found herself in a criminal child neglect charge, something that is believed to have stemmed from Dwight's also alleged neglect. We will just have to see if anyone else comes forward with information about him and what will come out of the essay case. Until then, what do you think about all this? Do you think that Royce is telling the truth about Dwight? I would love to hear what you have to say about this one. So let me know what you think in the comments below.